G'day, I'm Rob Draper, and I'd like to welcome you to Rob Draper Digital Art, my new endeavor. I've been a cinematographer for a little bit over 40 years, and this has been something that I've always wanted to, to dabble with. And ever since the early days of Photoshop 1.0, I've realized that there was an opportunity to play around with uh, photographic images in, in a way that really uh, excited me. I'm a big fan of J.W. Turner, the famous British painter, and that is the style that uh, I would have always loved to emulate in my cinematography, but um, that would be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit tough on audiences to, uh, to be shooting stuff as almost totally abstract swirls of color and, and texture with no shape or form. Uh, it would have been a, a little bit tough to sell that to the producers. So uh, this uh, website is going to give me the chance to play with images the way I'd like to play with them. And also the new technology is, is allowing it uh, back in the days of Photoshop 1.0 uh, I could see that there was potential to do the things that I wanted to do. And through all my years as a cinematographer in color correction and, and color grading of all the works that I've done, uh, I realized that uh, that could be applied to stills, but I needed the tools and uh, you know I needed brushes and I needed um, a pen and, a, and, and I knew that I wanted to do it in digital form but I just had to wait for technology to get to a point where uh, I was free to do that. But just as a little bit of background, um, my influences in cinematography have, uh, have always been the masters. Like Rembrandt Caravaggio. Rembrandt because of the way he uses source lighting. Uh, everything in his paintings is always from source lighting, generally single source and separating foreground and background with light and shade. Lots of shadow detail, very soft light. Caravaggio, the exact opposite, very harsh light, high contrast, deep saturated blacks, and uh, everything cut out and, um, and textured uh, because of the use of hard light. Now, over the years, I've come up with a theory that Rembrandt being Dutch was living in a colder climate, so windows were closed a lot. Uh, there was a lot of smoke on the interiors from fires and oil lamps, and that smoke diffused the light, which gave it that soft quality that you see in all his paintings, so it wraps around, especially in, in uh, portraits. But it also gives a lot of detail in the shadows, which you see in all the Rembrandt paintings as well. On the other hand, Caravaggio, uh, being in Italy, uh, where the light is a lot harsher and windows open, no smoke gathering inside, so the light was much more delineated, it was much more textural, uh, the contrast was higher, the shadows were deep saturated blacks without very much detail at all. So that's, the, uh, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. But that's how I saw the difference between those two painters and, and I've always tried to emulate you know, some of their style and some of their techniques in, in my work. Going on, guys like Bierstadt, Albert Bierstadt uh, from the Hudson River School, his paintings of the American West are just astounding. The quality of the light uh, and, and all his paintings has always inspired me, uh, especially with exteriors. And then, you know, the great British painters, painters Constable and Gainsborough, their exterior landscapes um, also pushing me off in a, in a slightly different direction. And of course, Edward Hopper with his frame within a frame and, and uh, urban loneliness and urban isolation was yet another inspiration. And of course, uh, Andrew Wyeth, whose paintings of Maine, especially uh, Christina's World, were largely the inspiration for my work on the Marsha Gay Harden, Ellen Burstyn film uh, the Spitfire Grill. So there's some of the things that, that are sort of in the back of my mind when I'm playing around with images. But I always come back to Turner. And, and, and I love Turner because his work was all about splashes of colour and texture and very little shape or form. It was left to the, to the viewer to interpret what he was actually getting at. So there was no real structure to the paintings. There were little 
clues given to you along the way and then you could you could extrapolate with with your own experiences and work out where he was actually trying to go and that's the sort of stuff that I like so when you're looking through my work on this website you'll see that that's the direction I'm moving I haven't gone totally that that far in some of them some of them I have but I'm experimenting and playing and and as time goes on you'll see more and more of my work pushing off into the the direction of Turner. So that's a little bit about me, it's a little bit about the art. Um, I won't ramble on anymore, uh, but welcome to the site. I hope you have a look around, I hope you enjoy what you see, and if you do uh, like what you see, there's, there's always plenty of ways to uh, purchase some of the paintings. And if you've got any questions or comments, uh, there's a comment section here, you can send me uh, any, any questions or comments that you have and uh, I'll answer them uh, as fast as possible.